everyone, it's me, and welcome to Love It or Hate It, the show that nobody asked for. As a foreigner living in the UK, I have made it my quest to try out as many British icons as I possibly can to figure out whether I love it or hate it, and also whether the audience loves it or hates it. Today we are talking about Marmite, so don't forget, leave a comment down below. Do you love it or do you hate it? You can't be in the middle, okay? It's one or the other. <laughs> Pick a side. Now, Marmite is hugely popular here. Their own marketing even uses the love it or hate it because it is very divisive. Today, we are going to try Marmite three different ways because I hate myself. So without further ado, let's go. So first up, we have Marmite on toast. Now, this I think is probably the most classic version or inclusion of Marmite is simply Marmite on toast. Now the Brits will tell you the trick is to use as little Marmite as humanly possible. So I have my buttered toast. Looks delicious. I can't believe we're gonna put black paste on it, but here we are. I mean, you can kind of trick yourself into thinking that it's like Nutella or something, but not quite. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, I have arguably put too much, but it's so hard to spread. So cheers, Marmite. Now here's the thing. I am still suffering from being sick over the holidays and I'm quite congested, which is why I sound truly horrible. That actually plays to my advantage because I can get a little bit of it. Well, I only had a little, I only had, actually had a very small amount. Okay, hold, hold that thought. Okay, forget everything that I've ever said. Marmite has always been one of those things that has really surprised me because I love savory food. Anything savory, I absolutely love it. I got goosebumps because of that. There is something about Marmite and particularly the aftertaste and the sensation like you get in your mouth and your sinuses and everything after the fact um, that I just hate it. And I, I, I don't get it. I don't. And granted, this is like quite a bit, but I'm trying to take like just a little bit of it and mainly like buttered toast, like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Mmm. Okay, wow. Unfortunately for me, the Marmite on buttered toast is an absolute no. And it does surprise me because on paper, I should absolutely love this. Um but I don't in this application, not even a little bit. And I know it looks like a lot on the toast, but I swear I only took a little bite of the, of the Marmite bit, okay, I promise. For our next um, experience, mar our next Marmite experience is going to be Marmite in snacks. And if I have it on my face, please disregard. Now when you talk about Marmite based snacks, a lot of people bring up Twiglets, of which I have tasted on Patreon, and it went a little bit like this. Oh! Absolutely disgusting. Now, if we're getting technical, Twiglets are not really a Marmite product. They are a yeast product, um, and they are disgusting, but they technically are not Marmite. However, I bought these which are Marmite. So these are Marmite oven baked cashews. I actually bought this for Twitch um, where I live stream months ago. I don't even remember what it was for. I think it was like a challenge. Like if I lost, I had to try these. Um, and I threw them in my drawer and I forgot about them. <laughs> so here they are. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's just like automatic. Okay, well, just a little bit more. Oh, 
Oh! So here's the thing. Better than the toast. Um, I love buttered toast, and guess what? I love cashews. The Marmite does work in this application in that it's very savory, it's very salty, and this is better, but there is something about, it's like a physical reaction. I have goosebumps, I don't know if you can tell, that it's just so strong and it just, my body is just like rejects it. <sighs> but you should always try multiple times. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I rate the toast? Marmite and toast is like a one out of nine no thank yous. There's something about it. And I think as well, it's hard to put very, very little. It's very hard to spread. So um, one out of nine. These are actually slightly better. A solid four out of seven, perhaps I'll have a little bit. Unfortunately, the Marmite like reaction is so strong. <laughs> I just, I just can't. I need to wash that down, hold on. <laughs> now, whether you love Marmite or you hate it, um, I'm kind of leaning towards the hate it, although we're not done. I am going to cook with Marmite for our next test. However, do you know what I do love? My Emma mattress. This is not a joke, I'm not kidding. So Emma Mattress contacted me about working together on a video. At first I thought it was a scam, <laughs> and then I thought it was a prank. But no, it's actually real. Now there's no way for Emma to have known this because they aren't all seeing, and I'm pretty sure they're not psychic, but the first ever mattress, and really only ever mattress, I have ever purchased as an adult was an Emma mattress. And I've loved it ever since. And recently I have been trying out the Emma Premium mattress that they sent me, and honestly, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I love it, and I, I, I mean that. As someone who takes sleep very seriously, I have never had a problem sleeping, falling asleep, staying asleep, enjoying my sleep ever with any of the Emma mattresses I've had. If you've ever watched any of my taste test videos or my love it or hate it videos, I always say that you should try things multiple times because you never know. Do you know what I mean? You just never know. You might love it. Emma comes with a 200, 200 night risk-free guarantee so you can try out your new mattress to see if it's right for you. 200 nights. <laughs> Emma mattresses also have this like halo memory foam situation. So depending on what type of sleeper you are, front, side, back, it really doesn't matter because honestly, they're incredibly comfortable. They also have this like breathable technology, which I don't fully understand because I'm an idiot. But I do know that I am always comfortable. I'm not too hot. I'm not too cold. Honestly, I've never had a problem with sleep. <laughs> I've had a lot of other problems in my life over the last decade, but I've never had a problem with sleeping. And in all those years, I have slept on an Emma mattress. If you'd like to treat yourself this year to something a little bit special, make sure to use my link in the description and my coupon code is Alana Sleep. So you're gonna get 5% off their already discounted price. Continuing on with our love it or hate it Marmite edition. This is the one that I am most interested in and that is using Marmite in a recipe or in like a properly cooked meal. Properly cooked should be in quotations because I'm about to cook. <laughs> now one of the very popular recipes that includes Marmite is in pasta. And particularly I saw this recipe for a carbonara, which I absolutely love. It's basically an egg and Parmesan pasta, delicious. But this one includes a little bit of Marmite. And I think if I am ever going to love Marmite, I think this might be the way. So is anybody hungry for some Marmite pasta? Ooh, um, my kitchen is an absolute mess. <laughs> so let me just tidy up real quick and then we are going to cook with Marmite. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everybody. Hello, and welcome to this side of the kitchen. Ooh, it's been a while since I've cooked on YouTube. So what are we doing? Well, I have my recipe. I would also be very interested if you have a Marmite recipe that you really like, like a cooking meal type recipe, let me know because I am willing to try it. So in a hot second, we're gonna do some pasta. Oh God, do I have pasta? 
Just kidding, of course I do. Oh, uh, I bought spaghetti. I thought I picked up linguine, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we are going to boil some pasta, then we are mixing egg yolks, parmesan, pepper, and the dreaded Marmite together as like our sauce. Then we are frying up some garlic. I'm starting to salivate already. I love a carbonara. Anyway, let me get a move on. Okay, so we have our egg and Parmesan paste looking thing. Um, now we need Marmite. So this recipe says just two teaspoons, um, but this stuff is so sticky. I don't really know how that's gonna work. So we're just gonna just, oh my God, that, Okay, well, we'll say that's like, <laughs> why? This is like one and a half. Let's just, mmm. How are you supposed to do this? I don't understand. Oh, yep, that's the good stuff. Yum! It stays like this when I'm actually kind of grateful that I'm still congested from being sick because um, I know this stuff reeks and I can smell it, but like slightly blunted, which is fabulous. Now what? Okay, after washing my hands for 8 million years, we are going to cook our pasta and fry up a little bit of garlic. Delicious. Hello, our water has boiled and now the age old question is, how much pasta? <laughs> how much indeed? Let's say that much. Will it be too much? Almost certainly. Also, while you guys were away, hold on. I've started to question the recipe that I'm using because they say to throw um, a clove of garlic in a frying pan, roast it a little bit, and then fish it out and get rid of it, which is insane to me. Everything should have as much garlic as humanly possible. So to fix that, I have chopped up some garlic. Can you see it down there? Probably not. We're gonna fry off garlic and keep it in <laughs> because I'm not insane. Hello, welcome back. Hungry, I hope, or maybe not hungry because this might be terrible. Um, our pasta is cooked, our um, garlic is nice and, and lovely looking. It smells like garlic in here. Is there anything better than garlic? No, I have a problem. And we have this really disgusting Marmite um, cheese blob. <laughs> so it's time to mix. Honestly, pasta, olive oil, and fried garlic I would eat this if you weren't looking. <laughs> Again, I have a problem. Okay, the only way I think we can get this sticky, so carbonara is delicious, but normally I don't have such a sticky mess because the Marmite is so, I don't, I don't understand, it's so sticky. The only way we're gonna get it out is with a spatula. All right, we've coated our noodles. Is this thing still on? I hope so. Coated our noodles, I've used a bit of the pasta water. Maybe just a touch more. Fingers crossed, everybody. <laughs> oh my God, what have we done? And because we're being very, can you see the bowl down here? Not really. Um, because we're being very fancy, I'm gonna put a little bit more Parmesan on top. Ooh, who is she? Because that makes everything better. And I got a little bit, of, um, what is this, parsley. Oh my God, you guys. You guys. Put me on Master Chef. I'm ready. Okay, can you have a look at that? So, it is a carbonara. It's a bit more brown than it normally is. Um, smells like pars parsley and parmesan. <laughs> let's have a seat and let's eat. Okay, here we go, everybody. <laughs> I made so much pasta. Cheers. Marmite carbonara. Oh man. <laughs> Woo, all right, that clears the sinuses, doesn't it? Ugh. 
Oh, goodness. Wow. I hate it. And I'm so disappointed. Here's the thing. I get it. I get that the Marmite can give it like a little bit of a kick, like a little bit something extra, a bit savory, a bit salty. Um, again, I have goosebumps. Marmite just doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Now, if maybe I put one teaspoon in, maybe it would be diluted enough that I don't get that horrible Marmite reaction that I seem to get, I'm susceptible to. But as it is right now, it's just too Marmite obvious. I am gonna go back in because I am hungry and I do love pasta. My brain doesn't comprehend that there's Marmite in this. Oh, God. Stop doing that. This one I'm actually shocked at. I really thought it would be okay. It's not. It's just really not. If you like the taste of Marmite, I bet you'd love this. I bet you'd eat it up and you'd be so happy. I wish that I was happy, but I am not. <laughs> I think this can settle the case of Marmite. I hate it. I have tried numerous times in a, a variety of different applications and I still hate it. That's the verdict for me. What is your verdict on Marmite? Please leave a comment down below. Or if you have a recipe, <laughs> if you have a recipe that you really like, to be honest, I am willing to hurt again. I'd do it probably. I'd probably hate it, but again, you never know unless you try. Thank you guys so much for watching my Descent Into Madness. Don't forget, if you wanna check out that Emma mattress deal, link in the description. Can you believe they sponsor this video? Crazy. I am gonna throw this out. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if anybody I know wants this. Do you want it? Do you want it? Anybody want this? Maybe I'll go out on the street and be like, hey, anybody want this? <laughs> um, because I will not eat it, unfortunately. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> and I'll see you real soon, all right? Bye.